It's raining. What's going on? Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening. Hello, good, good evening. evening. Welcome, welcome. Good evening. Nice. Okay. So, good evening. Welcome. Thank you so much for being on time and also for your cameras. I know that there are some areas in which it's raining right now, so I don't know where you are. Um, here where I am, it's raining. It's not that heavy, but it is, it is raining. So, but anyway, right? So we are going to start with the, with the class because it is the time, right? And remember that there is no way for us to uh, um, suspend the class or something, right? So um, we have to, we have to. So thank you so much for your cameras. Nice to see you, Roxana Marisol, with your camera, nice. Okay, let's see, we have also Jocelyn Tatiana. Very good, very nice. Okay, I see you have your cameras today. So, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, okay. I have some messages right here about the, that it's raining and hey, that's something that it happens, right? Let's see.
Okay. So, Freddy Alberto, my goodness, that's a different background. Uh, uh, yes, it is. I don't know what it is, it's Freddy. Different. It looks... <laughs> it's very different. <laughs> but what, what is it? What is exactly? It's You look like, I don't know, like if you are in a window or a scratch. I don't know. So what uh, is it? The, the marble. <laughs> Ah, okay, from Marvel. Um, uh, okay, comics. <laughs> comics. Okay, so I thought that it was like a like glass, like a scratch, como si fuese uh, un, vid un vidrio quebrado, like a, a glass, a crash, glass. That's what I thought. Okay, but it's okay. Nice. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, so let's see, Sandra Noemi, how are you, Sandra? I see that you have your camera on today. Good evening, teacher. I had good, but I only had a, a curry. I don't know. So yeah, how do you say toast? How do you say what? I'm sorry. Uh, toast. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. How do you say toast? Hoof. Okay. Coat, right? Nice. So that is like um like a illness, sick. You are sick. Okay. So, but uh, that was yesterday, Sandra Noemi, or that is today? And yesterday and today. Okay, okay. So, but you are already um, drinking a beers or medicine? Yes, teacher. I have drink beers. Beers. Okay, beers or beers? <laughs> my goodness, beers, <laughs> beers. My goodness, it sounds you eat beers también, right? I'm afraid. Rapidito, okay, <laughs> se escuchó como beers, right? My goodness, dije, bueno, con eso dice New... que se quita también. Nueva so, medicina, <laughs> buena, la, la, la buena, okay. No, but oh, this tequila. case, it's fish. Tequila, there you go. She says beers. Oh, beers. I heard beers. Okay, okay, nice. <laughs> Claudia Yesenia, Claudia Yesenia, what about you? How are you? Um, I'm good, teacher. Um, the weather here is, uh, it seems it's gonna be raining in in a moment, but everything is okay here. Okay, that is nice. So probably the rain is uh, yeah. coming right where you are. So it's it's leaving the, the this area where I am, it probably will be where you are. Okay, so that is nice. Okay, so just try to have plan A, B, C, or D in case if something happened right so because you know that we need we must be connected right no matter what okay so let's see what about you uh carlos adolfo tell us what is uh today date please good evening teacher good evening everyone today is wednesday wednesday 16 2023 16, 16, 20, okay. Yeah, you're right. So today is a Wednesday, right? Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. Wednesday. 16, Okay. Yeah, it is Wednesday, uh, August, right? August, August 16. August, yes. Okay. August, August 16, uh, 2023. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so we are about to finish, right? Remember that this is the last week. So we are about to end the model, to end the course, right? So be ready with the platform exercise and activities. Today I will give you the score, okay? If you would like to know the score that you have for the attendance, remember that at the end you need to get or you need to reach 80%, right? 80% is the minimum score that you need to get in the attendance um, in order for you to pass the course and be um, in the next level, right? So I will give you D. 
details about the, the score that you have right now. And uh, we are working in the last uh, section for the platform, remember, and the final quiz. So that is uh, the activity, that is the homework that we have for this week. And they, we have a message right there in the WhatsApp group saying that we need to have um, this exercise, this uh, platform exercise, until Thursday, right? So por ahí dijeron que para el jueves tratáramos de tener esto listo. Okay. So, nice. So let me let me move on myself right here. So into the attendance document and let's see, here we go. So today is Wednesday the 16th, right? So please, like always, uh, let me know if you are here. So, Ana Cristina. Mm. Ana Cristina, it's there. No sé si me escucha. Me parece Present teacher. Okay. okay. Present. Present teacher. Let's see, uh, Briseida Janet. Present. Nice, uh, Briseida. Then we have Carlos Adolfo. Present teacher. Thank you. Let's see, um, Claudia Jesseni. Present. Okay, uh, then we have Daniela Mercedes. Present teacher. Okay. Let's see. Now we have Emmanuel Efraín. It's there. Present teacher. Nice. Um, Evelyn Janet. Present. Evelyn, I'm sorry. Present. Uh, let's see, Flor de Maria. Flor de Maria Rivera. No. Eh, then we have a Freddy Alberto. Hello, teacher. Nice, Freddy. Glenda Lisette. I'm here to call. I'm here. Okay, yeah, Glenda. Let's see, Ileana Mariel. Present teacher. Thank you, Mariel. Uh, then we have Genesi Alexandra. Present. Nice. Uh, Jefferson Alexandra. Jefferson. No. Um, Jorge Mauricio. No le he visto hoy a Mauricio. Present. Ah, okay. You are there. Nice. Okay. Uh, Yo Jocelyn aquí. Tatiana. I see. I see. Mauricio. Very nice. <laughs> Jocelyn here. Tatiana. Okay. Come Jocelyn. Here. Nice. Juan José, por ahí lo vi ya, Juan José. Good evening, Juan José, nice. Uh, let's see, Luis Miguel, me pareció ver que por ahí estaba Luis Miguel. No, no está Miguel. Sí, ahí está. Sí está, ¿verdad? Conectado, ok. So, Rachel, is there? Present teacher. Ok, is there. Uh, Rebeca Paola. Present. Nice, Rebeca Paola. Ronald Rafael. Ronald Rafael, ¿no? Uh, 
Uh, let's see, then we have Roxana Marisol. Present teacher. Nice, Roxana. Then uh, Sandra Noemi. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Um, quiero ver qué pasó aquí. Roxana Marisol, sí. Eh, Sandra Noemí, ya. Yeah. Sara Verónica. Ok. So, uh, we are going to uh, validate the, the, the attendance uh, one more time at the end. Ok, so just let me see right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, just give me one moment. No sé qué pasó aquí. Okay, so let me let me um, share the screen really quick. Okay, Miguel, I see your message right here in the chat. So nice. Uh, let's see where is the screen. Okay. Okay, so let me see right here. Okay, now you can see the screen, okay? So we are going to see the wool uh, grammar part that we have right here. It's wool plus the bird plus two plus the bird, okay? So do you know when we are going to use wool in this case uh, as a question, right? So it is, wool is like an auxiliary but also we use it for questions, right? So wool, if I say, for example, would you like to, um, would you like to open the door? Would you like, okay? So wool, it's really formal, okay? It's really polite. You know what is polite, right? Polite, okay. No. I'm sorry? Es como educado, verdad? There you go. Polite is educado, no político, right? No. When I say that the, the work is really polite, I mean, usted está siendo muy educado, muy respetuoso. Like in Spanish, right? Usted, por ejemplo, um, está con su mejor amigo, okay? Usted le dice, hey, abrí la ventana vos, right? So, that's your friend, right? You, you, you are able to do it like that. But imagine that you are in the public transportation. No le va a decir usted al que lleve a la, a la par. Hey, abrí la ventana. Okay. That sounds rude, right? Reina, suena así como fuerte, rudo, right? Usted le dice, disculpe, ¿cree que puede abrir, abrir la ventana, por favor? Right? So... Even the tone of voice, right? Hasta el tono usted lo hace distinto, como decirle a su hijo, por ejemplo. Mira, anda, recoge esos zapatos, right? So, usted tiene la autoridad de, de hablar así, decirle así, right? So, in this case, wool gets really formal. It's really polite. And normally you are going to use wool when uh, we are talking about someone or yeah, something that is really... Uh, that you don't know, right? For example, your boss, una persona de respeto, right? Su jefe, or someone that you don't know and that is the first time that you see the person, right? So alguien que usted no conoce y lo mira por primera vez, usted va a ser como bien educado, right? So that is when we are going to use wool. Look at the grammar part. Would you like to go out on Friday? So wool, it's like an invitation, Okay, it is like an invitation, but really formal, right? Si okay. no, usted le dice, hey, salgamos mañana, right? As si fuera su charada, right? Hey, salgamos mañana, right? But when you would like to do like an invitation, but you need to be very formal, very polite, 
So you will say, would you like to go out tomorrow night? Okay. So, and in this case, like always, as I say, if you have a question with do, you are going to answer with do. If you have a question with did, you are going to answer with did, okay? If you have a question with can, you are going to answer with can, right? So in this case, if the question is with will, so you are going to answer with would, okay? Would you like to go on Friday? Yes, I would. This is a simple answer, right? Yes, I'd love to, thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go, okay? So this I apostrophe D, that is the contraction. Here we have it, right? Look, I would, okay? So if you say just I'd, it's the same, okay? So I would, okay? That is the contraction for I would, okay? Excuse me, teacher. I have a question. Go ahead, Mauricio. Uh, yes. Go El ahead. significado de would. Ajá. Uh -huh. If we translate would, so sería como te gustaría, right? So remember that this is uh, for invitations. Okay. Te gustaría. Would you like to go out on Friday? Te gustaría salir el viernes? Okay, so would you like? Would you like? Okay, okay. Kendra. Mm -hmm. Kendra, thanks. Okay, no problem, no problem. Let's see. It says, yes, I'd like to. Thanks. Okay, so remember que aquí le están haciendo como una invitación. Okay, so le están haciendo como una invitation. So then it says, uh, would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents, okay? So that is in case if you are gonna say no, right, to any, any question that you have, right, using wool, okay? So let's see if we can complete this. Uh, Carlos, go ahead. Thank you, teacher. I have a question. Uh, I understand wool. I apply wool or I put wool when to case in an invitation also can be. Uh -huh. For an invitation and also, I'm sorry, Carlos, repeat it one more time. Can be, eh, en español, perdón. Por ejemplo, según lo que le entendí hace un rato, hace un, no, no sé si entendí mal, es, es una forma polite también de pedir un favor. Y eh, ponía el ejemplo usted de um, poder abrir la ventana. Poder, no sé, de repente puede ser, would you open the window, please? Podría ser. Y también, eh, además de, de pedirlo de una forma eh, polite, podría ser también para invitar. ¿Estoy bien o me perdí? Pregunto. Ok, that's a nice question, Adolfo. So in this case, well, it's more for invitations, ok? So cuando usted está invitando, ¿te gustaría tomar un café? ¿Te gustaría salir? ¿Te gustaría acompañarnos? ¿Te gustaría X cosa, right? So you are inviting, okay? So you are giving like a proposal of something, okay? Hey, ¿te gustaría? ¿Quieres ir a la playa? Dice usted, right? So, pero este es como informal, right? En este caso, oh. más formal. Ahora, para pedirle, usted le puede decir a alguien, would you mind? No sé si han escuchado es, would you mind? So eso eh, va como por decirle así, como para que me entiendan fácil, va como por nivel de, de amabilidad, ¿ok? Va como por nivel de amabilidad. Si yo le digo a usted, hey, would you like or um, would you mind? Estoy siendo lo más... Eh, educada posible ok, así decimos en español educado, formal lo más que yo se pueda, que yo pueda ok, so there are, creo que tengo una 
there are uh, una imagen de los morals. So hay un montón, ok? So hay un montón de morals y, y no los estamos viendo todos. Aquí simplemente nos está poniendo el eh, este, right? So would, but there are moral verbs. No sé si ya los han escuchado. Allí entra el can, may, shall, will, need, have to, would, ok? Quiero ver si tengo esta imagen por aquí para que vean. O sea, este no es el tema, right? Morals en sí son varios. Aquí nada más ahorita estamos viendo el de Walt, ¿ok? Que el Walt es como un deseo, un wish, ¿ok? So es bien polite y es como para pedirle algo a alguien, pero de una manera bien amable, right? So ahora, por ejemplo, si yo uso el... Um, el cool, ok, este sería, could you please, o sea, ahí ya sería como para pedirle, could you please open the door, podrías por favor abrir la puerta, ok, no digo que esté mal, no está mal, pero ya viene, ya es un poquito más en confianza, right, so okay. el cool es como una sugerencia, ok, could you please close the door, o sea, le estoy Mira, sería bueno que cerres la ventana, pero o sea, como me pueda que diga que sí, que no, right? So es como más possibility, pero el, en este caso el would es como que le estoy pidiendo, invitando a, a algo, pues, pero de una manera tan formal, tan educada, que usted no me puede decir que no, ¿ok? So, that would be, ¿ok? En significados podrían ser bastante similares, pero va a depender aquí, en este caso, el nivel de, de educado que yo pueda hacer, ¿ok? Creo que aquí está esta, le voy a mandar. No es esta la que yo decía, pero... Anyway. So, eh, esto usted lo puede buscar como morals, ¿ok? Morals. Está el can, may, should, shall, ¿ok? Este es bien, no es muy, com muy común, shall, you... La, 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 ok, will, out to, need, be to, have to, will, should, used to, ok, so, eh, ahí están los morals, ese no es el tema, verdad, pero para que usted me entienda que will no es el único, ok, so, el will es como para una invitation, but very formal, right, usted, por ejemplo, a su jefe no le va a decir, hey, vámonos, Así, hey boss, no, ¿verdad? Usted, mire, disculpe, ¿será posible que la, 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 right? So, that would be the, that would be the different. Okay, let's see if we can go ahead and complete this exercise, okay? So, I will take a screenshot right here, and we are going to do it in the small groups. It says, respond uh, to three invitations, and then write the three invitations for the giving responses, okay? Hay unas que nosotros vamos a responder. Y las otras que vamos a hacer la pregunta. Veamos el ejemplo. It says number one. Um, I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? Yes, I would. Right? Podría ser la respuesta. Yes, I would like to go. Ok. Y ahí si quiere una respuesta más completa. Solo diciendo yes, I would. Está bien. Pero es una respuesta corta. Aquí sería completa. Yes, I would like to go to... Uh, the baseball game. Ok. So, acá en estas primeras usted va a contestar la pregunta y en esta ya está la respuesta. Usted tiene que hacer la pregunta. Ok. So, I'm going to um, create uh, like two or three groups depending. Let's see. Uh, make up rooms. Ok. It will be just three groups. Ok. Se van a crear tres equipitos rapidito. Déjeme, no le tomé captura. Ya lo voy a enviar al grupo, ¿ok? So, are we clear what we are going to do? Si ¿Sí estamos bien, vamos a hacer los grupos rapidito, right? Because of the time. So, I'm going, I'm going to open the room. Si ya mando ahí al grupo de WhatsApp la, la imagen de, la, de las questions and answers.
Okay. Um, let's see. Welcome back. Just let me uh, share the screen one more time and see. Okay. Uh, number one, let's see. Uh, Ana Cristina, you are letter eight. Emanuel Efraim, B, uh, letter B, please. Uh, go ahead, Ana Cristina. Okay. Uh, number one. Yeah. Um, I have ticket to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? Yes, I would. Okay, that was Emanuel Efraín, letter B. Sorry, sorry. Uh, yes, I would like to gain on Saturday. Okay, yes, I would like to go, right? Yes, I would like to would go like to, to go. the game to or the to the baseball game on Saturday. Okay, nice. Let's see, number two, uh, Daniela Mercedes, you are letter eight and Juan Jose letter B. Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Yes, I would. Okay, yes, I would. It's a simple, short answer, right? But it's okay, it's okay. But if you need a complete, yes, I would like to come over for dinner tomorrow night. Okay, nice. Jocelyn Tatiana, number three, letter eight. Um, uh, let's see, Freddy, letter B. Okay. <clears throat> Would you like to go a pop concert with me this weekend? Uh, yes. <clears throat> Yes, I I would like to go a pop concert. Okay, would you like to go to a pop concert with uh, me this weekend? Yes, I with would. This weekend. Uh -huh. Yes, I would like to go to a pop concert with you this weekend. Okay. Now we need the questions. Right now we have the answers and we need the questions. So uh, let's see, Sandra Noemi. You are number four, letter eight. And Carlos Adolfo, you are B. Okay. Would you like to go to a soccer match next Sunday? Adolfo. Creo que se le quedó el mute ahí pegado a Carlos Adolfo. Hola, perdón, sí. Uh, yes, I love to. Thank you. Okay, okay. So remember in this one, we have the question, right? So would you like to, okay? So ahí ellos dijeron a un cancer, right? So the next one, uh, Janessi Alexandra, number five, letter eight. Um, um, Carlos, one more time, you are letter B. Uh, okay, uh, would you like to go to eat to Pizza Hut with me? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. I like to, but I have to study. My goodness, today results, right? Gran mentira que dijo Adolfo. I have to study, so I'm going to perder la pizza. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the next one, let's see the next one. Emanuel Efraín, you are letter eight. M, uh, let's see, no more cameras. So, el mismo, San Daniela Mercedes, B. Okay, I would like to, I would like to, but... I want to visit visit my parents. Okay, okay, uh-huh. Yes, thank you. I really like to see it. 
Okay, yeah, thank you. I really like to see it, right? Remember that you need to invent, right? So in order for us to practice a little bit more, we are going to see this, okay? So we have right here, wool. Give me one more. Let me share the screen one more time. Donde estamos? Oh. Okay, so let's see what the, so we have cars right here. So I don't know, this is like a different game from yesterday, but we will see if we can do it. Okay, so Sandra Noemi, would you like some Zoda? And yes, I I would like to bring soda. Okay, perfect. That would be the answer. Yes, I would like to uh, drink some soda. Okay, let's see the next one. Um, teacher, teacher. Yeah. Una duda. Eh, eh, would like es así como dice usted para preguntar, verdad? Pero eh, imagínese que a mí no me gusta la soda. ¿Cómo hubiera contestado negativamente? Ah, okay, that is a nice question, Efraín, and that would be wouldn't, right? No, I wouldn't, okay, respuesta corta y larga, una completa. No, I wouldn't like to drink soda because I don't like it, okay? So, nice. No, no I wouldn't. Yeah, no, I wouldn't, okay? No, no quiero, no me gustaría, right? No, I wouldn't. Uh, let's see, Janessi, Alexandra, would you like an orange? Uh, no, I wouldn't. Okay, no, I wouldn't. Okay, let's see the next one, Sandra Noemi. Would you like some pasta? Yes, I would like to some pasta. Okay, yes, I would like some pasta. Nice. Uh, the next one, Emmanuel Efraín, would you like a burger? Yes, I would like a big burger. Okay, yes, I would like a burger, right? A burger only. Burger. Nice. Uh, Daniela Mercedes, would you like a watermelon? Yes, I'd love to. Okay, yes, I will because I love it. Or just, yes, I will, I love watermelon. Okay, the next one, uh, Mauricio, would you like some chicken? Yes, I like chicken. Yes, I will, right? Remember, I will. will. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, I, I will. Yes, I will. To like, sería, verdad? Yes, yes, I would like some chicken, okay? Yes, I would like some chicken. Okay. Okay, uh, let's see, Freddy. Would you like a banana? Oh, yes, I would like a banana. Okay, nice. Yes, yes. Okay, so we have all this, right? So we have the same questions right here. But um, that is the usage of wool, right? So we are going to continue because of the uh, because of the time, right? So let's move on to the next activity, okay? So text messages nowadays, you know that we really av do abbreviations, right? So look at this one. So two, four, Z, R, U. M, 
late. Oh my goodness, wait. Great. Thems, love and night. So these ones are abbreviations, right? So we use it a lot, especially when we are texting, right? When we are sending text messages, en vez de poner la gran palabra, sí, usted pone, ¿qué? Este, TQM, right? So as an example, that's an abbreviation that we used when we are doing uh, text messages, right? So let's see, we have a reading right here about Cristina Aguilera. Do you know who's Cristina Aguilera? Yes. Yes. She's a beautiful girl. Okay, she's a beautiful girl. And also it is um it is um a singer. A singer, right? It's, she was really famous. I, I would say was because nowadays I guess she's not, right? So I don't know what does I don't know what is, is she doing right now, okay? So but I remember that years ago she was really famous, right? She was a singer and she was really popular on those dates, okay? So it says right here, scan the article and look at the picture and what year did each event take place, okay? So vamos a buscar, veamos aquí, hay un parrafito con años, fechas. Um, so we need to analyze the pictures that we have right here and put it like in the correct order or mention, which is the year, right? So let's see, it says right here, so far she has multiple hit singles. She has fans of, of all ages around the world. And many people say she is the best singer of her generation. So she is Christina Aguilera. So, I don't know, okay? We will see the top line right here. Let's see, Claudia Jesenia, please help us with the reading. If you don't see the numbers, don't worry, okay? So, nada más la letra si no ve bien los números. Okay, uh, 1980, Christina is born on December 18th in New York. 1988, Christina first appears on television in a Star Search, a television talent show. 1992, Christina is on TV in Disney new Mickey Mouse Club with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. 1994, Christina records all I wanna do with Keiso Nakanishi, a Japanese pop star. Uh, she tours Japan. 19. sings a song for the Disney movie Mulan. 1999, Christina has her first big hit, Genie in a Bottle. Um, 2001. Um, along with other singers, Christina records Lady Marmalade for the movie Moulin Rouge. In 2002, Christina performs at the closing ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. In 2004, Christina wins the Best Female Pop Vocal Grammy a word for beautiful. Okay, very nice, very good, Chris, uh, Claudia Jesenia, right? So let's see. So this is like a top line, right? Aquí dice the top line, una línea de tiempo, dice uno, una top line, seems the very beginning until the end, right? So this lady, this singer, right? Cristina Aguilera was really, famous right i remember a couple of songs so she was okay she was really famous but nowadays i don't know uh, what happened with her so i don't know but let's see we have different events right like different um 
chronologically situations that happen on uh, Cristina Aguilera life. So let's see, do we have new words? Hay alguna palabra que usted no comprenda en este párrafo? No? No, oh, claro. Okay, so when she was born? On December, right? December the 18th, where in New York, okay? So she was a famous artist, right, I guess. Uh, she started from the very beginning and uh, probably far from from San Salvador, right? So, but then, let me see right here, but a segundo. Uh, teacher. Okay, Freddy, sorry. Uh, uh, although uh, she, she is uh, disappeared, uh, in this moment, I in would say yes. I sociales. don't know what what uh, happened with her. Probably yeah. she already earned a lot of money, right? So ya no necesita más dinero. Ya tiene la vida yes. pagada. Yes, <laughs> probably. <Right? laughs> probably, yeah. That's why I yeah. didn't see any page or something or any new about her. Several millions. <laughs> yeah, she has. Thousands, I would say thousands, of millions of dollars. So probably she's doing something else. Probably she has, she can be a, I don't know, she could be a business lady, right? So business, her own uh, business and so on, right? So imagine in 1980, okay, she was born uh, in New York. So she's from New York. Uh, she starts like on television. Then uh, she has nice music for the Disney World Mickey Mouse is right here. And also she started working right with Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake. So they were like famous artists at that time as well, right? So one of the famous uh, music, it's all I want, all I want to do. Okay, with a Japanese uh, pop star. Okay, and it says right here that she also sing the song for Mulan. So this is a Disney movie. Okay, Genio in a Bottle. So I remember that song and I guess this is a, a Spanish, right? So she normally, she was an Spanish singer, but I guess she also has some uh, English song, right? So what is right here? It says her first Big hit, Jenny in a bottle, right? So, Genio de la Botella, I guess it was. I remember that song. So, let's see what else it says right here. Um, This is a uh, Molin Broad. Okay, it says Lady Mar Melody. So, uh, this one I don't remember. But I guess it was famous. So, it says that also one of the famous or important events is that she close the ceremonies right right from the winter olympic games yeah. okay so at that moment she was really famous right and she has a grammy award because of beauty beautiful right so let's see we are not gonna see the pictures right here okay so this is a written article the events okay but we are going to skip okay so tomorrow we are going to start the last section, okay? So remember, self-assessment, este lo hace usted cuando tenga tiempo, ahí tiene usted un par de exercises que usted puede completar. So tomorrow, we are going to start with this. Tell me about your family. We will have some family words right here, vocabulary, and uh, we finish this on Friday, okay? So I have a couple of minutes and I would like to give you this score. No sé si quieren saber cuánto llevan de porcentaje de asistencia. Hasta el día. Okay. Sí. Perfecto. Ok. So, deje ver acá el documento. Ok. Just let me validate the attendance. Flor de María está acá. Flor de María Sánchez. No. 
Jefferson, who Jefferson Coreas, uh -huh, Jefferson Alexander, no? Eh, Ronald Rafael. Ronald Rafael, no está. Roxa, no, sorry. Sara Verónica. Sara Verónica. Bien, so déjeme ver aquí. So, let me see. Ya vamos a revisar los teléfonos si lo tienen. En inglés, right? So, déjeme ver. Si usted no ha faltado ningún día, o sea, usted ha estado todas las sesiones, creo que ahora tenemos la sesión 14, ¿verdad? De 16, solo nos quedan dos, right? So, si usted no ha faltado, usted debería de tener un 81.25 por ahí. Casi el 81.50, es decir que usted ya debería de estar con el mínimo del 80 para pasar. Si no está es porque ha faltado un día o no sé, tal vez se ha desconectado o entró tarde otro. Ok, voy a mencionar rápido el nombre y voy a dar el porcentaje que tiene. De el, esto es el porcentaje de attendance, right? los minutos conectados y esto está actualizado hasta el día de ayer, ok, so lo que se hace ahora va a aparecer mañana so, let's see, Ana Cristina 8125, excelente Briseida Janet 7427 prácticamente creo que si está conectada ahora, hoy llega Carlos Adolfo 80.10, excelente Claudia Yesenia 7458 igual, si está conectada ahora pues, llega eh, Daniela Mercedes, 8094, muy bien. Emanuel Efraín, 7250. Evelyn Janet, 6729. Flor de María, 7417. Freddy Alberto, 7448. Eh, Glenda Lisette, 7281. Liliana Mariel, 6344. Janessi Alexandra, 80.31. Eh, Jefferson Alexander, 5775. Jorge Mauricio, 8125. Muy bien. Eh, Jocelyn Tatiana, 7271. Juan José. Let's see, Juan José, 7625. Luis Miguel, 7698. Let's see, ya me perdí aquí. Eh, Luis Miguel, ok. Rachel Esther, 44.58. Eh, Rebeca Paola. Dios mío, espérenme que. Vaya. Ronald Rafael, Rebeca Paola ya la mencioné. Ronald Rafael. 73.65. Roxana Marisol. 74.90. Sandra Noemi. 75%. Ok. So that is the attendance. Ok. Eso es lo que usted lleva hasta el día de ayer. Si se fija, la gran mayoría, pues, está bien. Porque, pues, ahora con la clase de ahora... Mañana ya la mayoría va a estar en un 80 o un poquito más. Y los que ya están casi por llegar, o sea, van a llegar a un 90, 90 y algo. O sea, quiere decir que no estamos tan mal. No sé si tienen alguna duda, pregunta con respecto a la asistencia. No, teacher. En mi caso, no. No, teacher. Ok, okay. so... It's everything okay, right? So, la verdad no estamos tan mal, ok? O sea, todos se han conectado, aunque no tienen cámara, pero han estado ahí, pues, y eso es lo que cuenta, right? Para, para validar este, su asistencia, ok? 
So tomorrow is Thursday, right? So Thursday and Friday we have classes and they are the two last dates, right? So please do not forget the platform. Eso usted no se le olvide, ¿verdad? No va a haber eh, prórroga para terminar. Así que empiece, trabaje para que ya eh, el día de mañana usted ya pueda estar libre de toda culpa. Ok, so time is over. Thank you so much for your time and because of your cameras and being in the class. I hope to see you tomorrow. Ok, so good night. Bye bye. Take care. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.